Okay, so this is uh, more of a unusual video for me. As you guys know, my channel is mainly for guitar. That's why it's called I Love the Guitar. But I want to do a little review on some video game stuff. So I wouldn't call myself an actual gamer. Um, I'm more of a quote-unquote Nintendo guy. Not saying that people who play Nintendo aren't gamers, but... You know, I'd say Nintendo probably appeals probably mostly to, like, I mean, out of all the three major companies, to uh, more casual gamers, right, on uh, Nintendo. So I consider myself a Nintendo guy. I do have an Xbox One, but funny thing is, my Xbox One, I mainly use it for my, me my me uh, media center, which works uh, incredibly well, actually. Anyways, um, I got... Uh, today's Joy Cons, uh, third party Joy Cons. So, like, you'd be like wondering why am I getting third party Joy Cons? Well, you know, one thing I don't like about uh, the original Joy Cons is the analog stick. It's, as you guys may know about uh, the Nintendo Switch, the Joy Con drift is, the problem is, it's real. It's really, it really is. I've had that problem before, um, but also that the travel of the of the analog sticks are just terrible. So I got these. Let's unbox this. Okay. Sorry, I have to do everything by one hand. Okay, so as you can tell, these Joy Cons come with attached to the grip. So let's try to take these out. So I already kind of sort of unboxed this uh, before. Uh, so here's the controller. It uh, so come. It comes. You could uh, charge two ways. You could charge uh, wired. Comes a USB C to USB A. Cable uh, it comes with, of course, your manual. And what's kind of cool? It comes with the a Animal Crossing card you could use for uh, the Animal Crossing game. So, huh? That's kind of cool. All right. So he here are the Joy Cons. Um. So what what I really like are the analog sticks. And they should kind of remind me of like the Xbox One. Uh, analogs which I love. I know people don't love it. They like the PS4 one, but I like these. I mean, they 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 feel real good. Let's let's uh, let's see how the D-pad feels. Uh, D-pad feels okay. Um, I I do have the the Hori um, Joy-Con that has a D-pad. That feels like a legit D-pad. This is more like, uh, as if it has a D-pad, but I don't think it has like a membrane. It just has like the like four buttons, kind of like on a regular Joy-Con, but just you know, uh, but whatever. I only I mainly got this for the, uh, the analog sticks. Uh, I mean the buttons feel pretty good. I don't know. How about direction button? Oh, no, the action buttons or A, B, X, Y. I feel okay. I, I think I, li I like the original Switch ones better, though. Yeah. These feel a little mushy, but that's not a big deal. Okay, so let's get the back. So... Okay, so they, they do come, uh, they have those buttons to release them. So let me just kind of put this down. Alright, so you just press on these buttons and then I think they release. Okay, so. I just took off the right Joy-Con. 
Uh, yeah. Oh, what do you know? Hey, you, you can slide on those attachments. Because it has a L and R button. Okay, that's cool. And then they, they do have like a... So it's not flat like the joy, the original Joy-Cons. Uh, so you can kind of grip your uh, fingers around these. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so I just took off the the original Joy Cons. Let's see uh, if these just just attach and then they work. Let's see. I believe that says you just need to attach them. Okay. And and voila, looks like that. They do have a battery case on it too. Um, let's turn on the switch. All right, so seems to be working. Uh, yeah. See how much battery these uh, Joy Cons have. Uh, they seem to be full charge. That's nice. Okay, well, you know, uh, of course, I've never really done these kind of reviews for uh, uh, video game systems or whatever. But my main thing is uh. Just using the analog sticks. And nice. These feel real good. Alright. See ya.